Let's talk today about my favorite white ink toner, which is the Ghost ink toner. Now, Ghost is a brand name, and there are other toners out there that do print in white. However, we're going to talk about the Ghost specifically today. I'm going to show you how to load it into your laser printer, and also we'll talk about the alternatives and things you might want to think about before investing in a white ink toner and a matching printer. I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I do unboxings and product reviews on Saturday. This looks exactly like it does when you order it directly from Ghost itself. It is a plain brown box. They have just their logo here, and then they have the sticker denoting which printer it's for. And don't worry, it says 452. Uh, for HP, but that is old. They don't even make those anymore. It does work for the 454. So let's go ahead and we will open it up. So lots of plastic protection. So your toner doesn't get ruined, which is probably something that's important because it is so expensive. Although all toner is expensive. It's usually $99 for a cartridge. Um, the white ink though is a bit more expensive. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take off this orange piece right here. Um, it says unlock this side first. So you're just going to go ahead and just pull it off like that. I mean, I guess you could unlock the other side first. I don't think it matters. Um, this you don't need either. It's just there for protection. Uh, and let's go ahead and load this into our printer. If you have the HP 454 over here on the side, you're going to have this little button. You're going to push that button and it's going to open up that front door to reveal your toner cartridge tray. Now, these are arranged in a very specific order and the black one is always the first one. So you're just going to lift that black one out, remove it from the printer, and then you're going to take your white toner. See over here, it says white toner my hand is and then you're going to place that exactly where that black toner is um, and then you're just going to close it up all right i hope that was helpful if you walk away with nothing else just know you must purchase the printer after you select the toner if you have a printer that is not compatible do not listen to all the forums where they're like oh i think it'll fit it should fit it doesn't fit it never does <laughs> just buy the matching ones that that toner is supposed to go to, plus the performance will be better. All right, I hope that was helpful. Remember, there is a cheat sheet on how to print in white, and I will leave links to that below, as well as two other videos on how to print in white. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.